Was the attorney general in on whatever was going on there in the Ukraine? I have never spoken to Attorney General Barr about this investigation ever. I have been circumspect, careful, exceedingly careful. Not only that, Parnas knows that. I told Parnas several times that I would make sure I would never go to the attorney general with it so I wouldn't compromise him. That's Rudy on Fox News tonight making his own case while his indicted one-time buddy is doing the same. Lev Parnas's attorney today requested that Attorney General William Barr recuse himself, take himself out of the federal campaign finance case against Parnas. He's also calling for the appointment of a special prosecutor, claiming prosecutors have refused to meet with him and receive information on the president, on Giuliani and the other significant players. Here is a reminder of what Parnas told Rachel Maddow about the role that Bill Barr played. Do you know if Mr. Giuliani was ever in contact with Mr. Barr specifically about the fact that he was trying to get Ukraine to announce these investigations into Joe Biden? Oh, absolutely. That Mr. Was, Barr knew about that. Mr. Barr had to have known everything. The difference between why Trump is so powerful now, and he wasn't as powerful in 16 and 17. Mm -hmm. He became that powerful when he got William Barr. That gets your attention, as they say. And with us for more tonight, Maya Wiley, former assistant U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York, now with the New School here in New York. And Rick Wilson, longtime Republican strategist, co-founder of the Lincoln Project, a super PAC created by conservatives with the aim of defeating Trump and Trumpism. His new book goes a long way toward that very ideal, Running Against the Devil, a plot to save America from Trump and Democrats from themselves. We welcome you both tonight. Maya Wiley, in normal times, would Lev Parnas have a lock cinch deal with the feds in New York? Would there be an investigation launched as in, do you hear what this guy is saying about people at the highest levels of our government? That's a hard question to answer, quite honestly, Brian. And, and here's what I mean by that. I don't think there's any question that William Barr has earned himself an impeachment inquiry. So that's clear. And that starts from his misrepresenting the Mueller probe report before it's released, knowing that Robert Mueller has some issues with the way he's handling it. That goes to the fact that he himself has personally flown around the globe, helping to kind of try to stir up uh, some of the dirt that Donald Trump wants all kinds of reasons that we could list about why William Barr himself deserves some scrutiny and some oversight. That's very different from saying in a different world where Donald Trump was not president, Lev Parnas would be would have some kind of cooperation agreement or where William Barr, I'm sorry, was not attorney general. And that's because we just don't know enough about all the evidence that the U.S. Attorney's Office has. Okay. If you're in the U.S. Attorney's Office and someone just doesn't have anything to offer you if they cooperate, meaning you don't believe they're telling the truth or you have so much evidence that you don't believe they can add to the evidence that you have, or both, you would have a legitimate reason not to enter into a cooperation agreement with someone. And a Lev Parnas, we should remember, a Lev Parnas is, has some of his assertions in the Rachel Maddow interview have documents. Those are documents that the U.S. Attorney's Office had and enabled him to share. There are other allegations that he makes that he says he believes, but he doesn't necessarily offer any direct and specific knowledge to suggest that he could offer anything more substantive. So I think we have to separate out whether there's huge issues of public trust with William Barr. And there's a question about whether I think the U.S. attorney for the Southern District, Berman, should recuse with regard to Rudy Giuliani, because he is the one who recommended Rudy Giuliani for a U.S. attorney spot with Donald Trump. And appearance of a conflict or appearance of impropriety is enough to recuse because we have to have the public believing in the institutions. But I don't want to go so far as to say that just by definition, because Lev Parnas is saying he should have a cooperation agreement, he should have a cooperation agreement. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.